Hello, welcome again to the Kidney Kitchen. Today we're cooking a lovely one pot chicken and rice dish with some Cavalo Nero, some green beans and some lovely sweet onion marmalade. Anything I cook with chicken and rice is a winner for me and I hope it is for you too. Warm your pan and add one tablespoon of olive oil. Place your four skinless, boneless chicken thighs into your nice hot oil. Leave them to cook for a couple of minutes on one side till nice and brown. After a couple of minutes, a nice bit of colour on the chicken. We'll flip it over and brown the other side. So that's a couple of minutes on each side. Nice bit of colour. Nicely sealed and just removed from your pan. I've put my sliced peeled carrots into a pan of cold water and bring to the boil and cook for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we're going to add our Cavalo Nero to the pan, same pan. If you can't find Cavalo Nero at your supermarket, then um, you can use uh, curly kale, some green cabbage, um, savoy cabbage, white cabbage, something like that. And then we cook that for another another three minutes. That's our vegetables cooked. So you want to drain and set aside. So I'm returning that same frying pan back onto my heat. Another tablespoon of olive oil. I'm going to throw off my couple of cloves of garlic, stirring occasionally, and then add my Cavalo Nero and my carrots. Turn that over so we get all your garlic in there, and a little bit of olive oil, and all those juices that came off the chicken thighs when you were frying them in the same pan earlier. That'll all add to the flavour of the dish. I'll just let that fry for about three minutes. One lovely addition to this dish is a teaspoon of, of ground allspice. Gives it a nice nice flavour, nice bit of spice, not too hot, just a nice fragrant flavour. In with our basmati rice. and give it a quick stir. I do love these one pot dishes, I think they're, they're so great. Saves on the washing up as well at the end of the day. And now we're ready to add our stock. Smells lovely. One more ingredient to go in, that's our onion marmalade. Let's spoon that marmalade in. This gives it a really sweet and sour, if you like, taste to it. It's really creamy. Once that warms up, it'll break down, get into that rice and the, the Cavalo Nero. So now the chicken thighs that we browned off earlier can go back into the pan. Just place on top of the vegetables. Make sure you put in any liquid that's come off the chicken back into the pan as well. That'll add some flavour. And then we're going to season the, the chicken with some black pepper. And then finally, I reserved a little bit of my onion marmalade, kept it a little bit back. And we're going to brush the remainder of that onto the chicken. Smelling really good. Something about chicken and onion marmalade that goes together so well. So 
that's my chicken gone into the oven about 30 35 minutes until both your chicken and your rice are cooked please make sure you've got an oven proof dish as well because i've done that before put a pan in the oven with a plastic handle and it's not good alternatively if you've got a small casserole dish you can transfer the, the chicken into a dish or a cast iron pan now while the chicken's cooking we've got lovely accompaniment to that dish which is some fine beans i'll put them in a pan of cold water i'm going to bring them to the boil and cook them for five to ten minutes so there we have a one pot chicken rice and onion marmalade dish now i'm just going to plate a portion up that smells really good Angeline, I've cooked your chicken and rice today. It looks really lovely and it smells gorgeous. I could smell the garlic when you were cooking yeah, that for in the sure. kitchen. It's, it's really all, not nice. quite a one pot dish, but we cook a few things before and finish it all in the oven in the pan. Mm. So it's relatively easy to do. Have a try. Thank you. But I guess, you know, cooking it in a couple of different pans helps because we've got the, um, the vegetables there. And um, when you cook them in the water, it gets rid of some of the potassium. So sure. we're lowering the potassium of this dish by just boiling the, the cabbage, the first. carrots and the beans, absolutely. I like the little bit of mm. sweetness that the onion marmalade brings to the oh, dish as well. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Mmm. Tasty. And no salt? No salt. No salt added, that's fantastic. And of course, because the vegetables have all been boiled first, yeah. it means it's low in potassium as well. Um, Presumably you could use different cabbage, could you, to the one you've used For here? sure, yeah, I've used Cavallo Nero today, but yeah, I'm guessing, um, yeah, curly kale, um, green cabbage, yeah, savoy cabbage, white cabbage even. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Yeah, all of those would work, wouldn't they? And I'll put a few really fine nice. beans with it as well. Yeah, really nice. So you've got your, your five a day almost, yeah. you're getting towards your five a day through through um, adding the extra vegetables, fantastic. Perfect. So this one's low potassium, low salt and low in phosphate, but it's also high in protein because we've got this lovely piece of chicken, chicken here. Yeah, absolutely. So, so that's really helpful for anyone that's having dialysis because you tend to lose protein during dialysis. So um, the, the chicken there helps to just replace that protein. Great, so I've ticked all the boxes. Fantastic, nice thank one. you Paul. Pleasure.